see how you can send template messages via API. Click on this template icon here. So it will take you to the templates section or page. Each template has a unique JSON. So for example, if we click on this icon, we'll be able to see the JSON. Now template can have variables, can have image as header as well as buttons. So our system will automatically generate the JSON for you. Now if it has, if it has an image header, you need to provide the image URL in the variable link and the body variables here. Now let us take an example of this template wherein we have only one variable here. So in this case, we'll click on this and this is the body JSON that we need to send. Now, this is the Postman documentation. In this, kindly go to messages and click on send message template. We have one, two, three variables here. That is API URL version and phone number as well as the authorization is the bearer token. So for this, We'll copy the structure and we'll create a sample call in Postman. So let us go to first here and let us copy this JSON body and create a new Postman call and add it to the body raw as JSON. In the author, in the body, let us edit the receiver number with country code. And you can change the variable text here. So for now, I'm simply entering variable one. Please note variables cannot have next lines. In the authorization, we are changing it to bearer token. Now the token, you'll get it from here. Click on this three dots, click on access token. Your token will get generated. Now copy this token and paste it here. The next, next thing is we need to change the request type to post and now we require th three things API URL version phone number ID and messages. So the API URL is here kindly copy it. API URL version v19.0 for now this version is fixed then phone number id you'll again get from here baba id is used in uh, business management calls like creating templates for sending messages we require the phone number id and in the end backslash messages now let us send this message once the message request is successful, you'll receive a QID and then you can set your own webhook URL of your server and the API response from Meta will come in it. That API response might have a success response with a WhatsApp message ID or might also have a failure response with some error code within it. But you'll get the QID here. So if this is successful, it means your token was correct and your message has been sent to Meta. So this is how you can send the message via API. Thank you.